Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Station Years. In today's episode I would like to set up my gas filtration system so that in the next episode we can actually start pressurizing parts of the base. Now, the bigger the spaces you want to pressurize, obviously, the more it's gonna take. So we will have to limit this. I don't want to pressurize the entire base. And also with this door, we're gonna run into a couple of issues. So I might actually have to rearrange this. However, we're gonna need plenty of space to actually set up the tanks. And I was kind of thinking if we added a wall right here on this level, then we could add the storages right here. There are about six gases, if I'm not mistaken. This still gives us access to the recycler, etc. from the inside and all the important machineries. And then maybe later on we can add something here, maybe another airlock or so. I don't know how it's gonna work yet, but what I do know is that this stuff is definitely in the way. But maybe we have a look at the computer first, as long as it's still daytime and we're gonna start crafting a couple of things. Now we're gonna need a whole bunch of portable tanks, but we're also gonna need these filters. So maybe these are actually the gases we can extract. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six gases. So maybe let's actually create a filter for all of them. Now oh, this is gonna be a bit agonizing. There we go, CO2, nitrogen and oxygen are the first ones. Then we got uh, pollutant. We also got some volatiles and last but not least, some water. We're definitely gonna need a pipe gas mixer later on. So I'm gonna add that to the list. We're also going to need a passive vent eventually. Tank connectors, we are going to need six of those guys. And then hopefully I can find the portable tanks. So far I wasn't very successful here. Right, maybe let's sort out a couple of things. My stuff is all over the place here. Filters, we also have the pipe gas mixer here. And you guys, you shouldn't roll away please, that would be great. So maybe let's start placing the tank connectors. I want these guys as close as possible to the wall. And let me think... Yeah, let's actually swap this around so the connector is in the front, something along these lines. And then we're just gonna have six of them next to each other, though I need a little bit of space for the pipes to come through. And I would like to do this on the left side, so maybe we can even add a valve. And I'm gonna replace this right here. Perfect. Now we just need six of these tanks right next to each other. There we go, that's five. And the sixth one actually got slinked all the way across the room. Oh, we are missing a little bit of steel, so that's probably not what I need, actually. Let me uh, delete this job and shut off the computer for this night. I actually also need to exchange my battery here. We're still doing good with the power. Yeah, it looks as though the portable tank can only be made here. This is literally called portable tank, and uh, that's something I don't find on this list. Well, that is too unfortunate. I'm only gonna do this temporarily with this guy right here. And we basically only need to hook up this cable right there. So let me exchange this with anything that fits. Build portable tank 20 grams of iron. That is kind of a pity. I don't want to extract my stuff, but I just have to do it. Here we go. These are all of the ores I currently have. Let's input that right there. And we're gonna make six of these portable tanks. I barely have the materials for those, actually. Uh, they are taking forever. There we go. <laughs> but it's kind of funny how they come out. Let me drag you over and we're gonna drop you down on this first pad right here. Come on, can I add you? Yes, great. So this is gonna be our oxygen tank, for instance. Oh, we need gas filters, thinking about that. I think that is a separate machine. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Don't do this to me. Look at that, that is just insanity. There we go, this is the last one and we have six tanks in place ready to be hooked up. Alright guys, we are back and I now know what I need. I need this kit atmospherics. This is actually gonna give us the gas filtration system. And obviously we're also gonna need uh, six of those. So let's go ahead and start crafting them. We will actually lack the iron looking at this, which is kind of a bummer. So I will have to go on a little mining trip, but at least we can make one and already check it out. Oh, seems as though we were actually able to make two of them. That is fine as well. I have to pick them up individually. But what I want to do is I want to place them here with the output actually facing our tanks. And we want to leave just a little bit of space. Let me actually see. How do we have to do this? Here we have an air conditioner waste. Then we have a slot for the air conditioner input. Here we have our connections, the power connections. Maybe this is going to be too close together. I'm not sure if we will be able to actually mix cables and pipes. That's something we should test. Where are my pipes? Right here. Give me some of those. 
And I want to see if I can still attach them. No, so that is going to be an issue. Because obviously the next filter would have to come here. So we might have to space them apart a little bit more. Now probably one more space apart is going to be enough, to be honest with you. So we can set up the cables right here and the pipes right there. So I think as long as it's night time, we're actually going to do this right away. Let me take apart some of that shebang. Oh my gosh, don't do this to me. There we go. So it is a little bit more spaced out. So we should have the space for all the pipings we need. Let me actually get rid of some of that shebang that is now in the way. And we are going to need to set it up somewhere else. There's a little bit of pressure here. I wonder what happens if I take this apart. Ah, it's not going to explode. Okay, I was hoping for an explosion. Now, just to be sure, let's start hooking up at least two of these tanks. Maybe we can already, you know, start thinking through the system a little bit better before we mess up the entire thing. So we're definitely going to need three-way junctions here. And then I probably have to lead the cable over the pipes, thinking about it. So maybe we start setting up the pipes, first of all. Here we would have a curve, so the waste basically goes back into the system, I assume. The main tanks are only going to be filled with the stuff we actually want to filter out. So we would have to connect this up and then we are going to grab some of our filters. The first one, the most important one, is going to be the oxygen filter. And I uh, don't see the filter slots. Oh, I just realized when replacing these, I used the wrong mode. Of course, we want to use the mouse wheel in order to get the filtration system. There we go. So now that makes much more sense. We can set up the oxygen filter right here. The next one would be nitrogen. And then I guess we're going to just hook up these pipes as such. Now, of course, I ran out of pipes, so we need to craft a whole bunch more. And it's probably going to require iron. So mining it is then. Okay, we still have a high charge on the drill. That's fine. Uh, do I want to enable the tracking beacon? I guess so. Why the heck not? And let's venture out a little bit in order to find iron. Oh, look at that. I found my passive vent. I was wondering where this guy went. <laughs> Oh man, we have to close off the base, otherwise stuff is just gonna spew out everywhere. What do we have here? That is gold. Well, we can use gold as well. But I mostly want to go for the iron, obviously, right now. Ah, here we have a beautiful iron vein. This is gonna give me so, so much. Look at that. This is just incredible. Oh yeah, give me all of that good stuff. And that's just the surface. We can then dig down and there's gonna be plenty more the further we go down. Look at this. Power low. Power low? Are you kidding me? Well, low is not critical, right? Maybe we actually shut off the light, just to be sure. Well, that is not very convenient. <laughs> yeah, I actually need the light to mine. Yeah, I actually think we got the entire vein. So let's actually go back and exchange our battery cell. Gonna shut off the drill and put it away. 150 iron. I was hoping for a little bit more, but it should be enough to finish the project. So let's go ahead and actually throw that into our smelting system right away. It should come out into our fabricator automatically. And let's see. Yep, arc furnace is on. Beautiful. We can shut off the tracking beacon. I didn't even use it. And of course, we're going to exchange all of the batteries now. It's actually already going for it. We got 41 grams of iron in there and some more is cooking up. So I guess what I have to do is construct a couple of pipes. And here we got our filtration systems, so we can start hooking them up as well. Oh man, my drill is already out of charge again. Thankfully, exchanging batteries has become a piece of cake. There we go. And now my pipes are obviously all over the freaking place. I wouldn't be surprised if we found a couple more around the base. That's fine. As long as I can keep on building. Let's just do all the pipes and we'll see how everything develops. Slowly but surely, things are coming along. You can see I hooked everything up. So the waste is going back into the system. And if it isn't being used by any of the other filtration systems, then it's just going to go towards the output right here. And I guess we're just going to vent that out into the atmosphere or so. I still have to connect up the outputs that are leading directly into the portable tanks. But the fabricator isn't the fastest in actually crafting the pipes. So that might be a reason to set up the other machines as well. But overall, I don't actually mind too much. That was actually just enough pipes to finish the system. Now you can see I actually took away the iron sheets from the floor so that we can lead the cables below. I think that is a much better and more convenient idea. We just need a corner, like one of these three-way corners. And if we get this right, it is going down. Yeah. So let's make sure we actually hook this up to each of the data ports. And we're going to need a normal corner to also hook up the power itself. Now it's probably easiest to approach this from below and thinking about it, I might need another three-way corner here. 
But then for these guys, I'm gonna need a normal junction and then we can wrap it up with straight cables. I just have nine cables left, so hopefully we can at least finish this. No, I'm actually short of a couple of cables, so let me see. We should have a couple more pipes here. I think it's gonna be enough for now, so let's also craft some uh, cable coil. I'm gonna go with another 30 or so that should do the trick. Here we go, it's perfectly prepared to be hooked up with this cable and I guess we can just start reapplying the steel sheets. Come on, come on, let me weld this without cutting the cables. There we go and we're ready to hook this up as soon as my fabricator is finished producing the cables. In the meantime, I guess we can think through how we want to input the gases. And of course, we want to do this with a furnace if possible. So it's a little bit more controlled and easier to observe. My furnace system is going to be on the outside of the base, just like the arc furnace. I don't want it to mess with my pressure and everything. So let's see, the furnace we could have right here. It should also be convenient for me to access it in case I need to. Well, I will have to. So maybe I actually need another balcony or a pathway like along this side of the house so I can come through this airlock. This should eventually be the only way in and out of the pressurized room. Though we also have to think about the input. I feel like this is too close. Let's just try to put it away one or two more blocks. I'm gonna place it right here in the center. That should be good. And now I'm gonna start hooking up the pipes. All right, I have set up the output right here. Just one more thing that is missing is the valve. And I think I want it to be facing the other way because that's where we are gonna approach it eventually. Now, I guess already hooking this up cannot hurt. I mean, I want to know if stuff is working. For instance, do we have the power? Yeah, looks very good. Before we continue, my suggestion is to actually get organized a little bit. What is the next thing I want to store? I think it's gonna be the CO2 in the third filtration system. Then we're gonna have the volatiles in the next one right there. And we still have the pollutant and the water. Pollutant is gonna come first and last but not least the water. There we go. You actually have a second gas filter in case you want to filter out two gases. Maybe temporarily for the time being, I'm gonna have my passive vent right here and we're gonna have a valve in between. So in case I want to flush the system, I can do this. However, of course, I have to craft it first. How much iron do we still have? 82. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna do some mining in between the episodes. There we go. We got our valve. It is closed at the moment. Uh, actually, this is pointing the wrong way, at least in my mind. There we go. That makes much more sense because the flow is into this direction. But for the time being, we want to have this closed. Now, in order to organize stuff, uh, probably color coding isn't the worst of ideas. We have started with a couple of spray paints. Now, let's see, we have green, blue, yellow, red and white. So maybe blue is going to be the best for the oxygen or actually white. White could be oxygen. Let me see. It's color coded within the filters, too. So this is more like a, a green thing. CO2 is black. Then we have red for the volatiles. We have also red for the pollutant and another blue for the water. So I guess I have to make my own coloring scheme. Now, can I use this? Uh, ah, there we go. Paint. Okay, that's actually working. That's pretty nice. So all of that is oxygen. I can even paint the pipes. Next up, we have some blue right here for the water. For the volatiles, I'm actually going to go with yellow, which apparently seems to be the default. Then we have the pollutant, which are going to be red. Nitrogen is going to be green in this case. And then we need one more color. Do we have one more color? I don't think we do, or maybe I lost the freaking spray paint. We need to make this professionally. I think I want to make myself some black spray paint. There should be one. Spray paint black. Perfect. What do we need? We need one gram of iron. Man, this is such a bummer. I don't want to empty my freaking fabricator the entire time. But oh well, for science I'm gonna do it, and for organization. There we have the black spray paint, and obviously the CO2 is gonna have black. Good, now I'm happy. All of the tanks have a different color and it should be pretty easy to distinguish them. We should actually already be ready to test out the system. What I also did is I hooked up the furnace because obviously we're gonna need some power to smelt stuff up. At the moment we have zero pressure, the valve is closed. It is nighttime, so maybe that is a good idea to smelt up some oxide, volatiles and stuff like that and see if it actually gets filtered out correctly. So let me see. Hopefully we can actually open this up without... Oh no, there are actual issues. That's not good. Yeah, what we probably should do is keep these volatiles in a separate mining belt. So they are actually more or less secure. Let me see if I can uh, collect some oxide and if... Uh, it's actually not melting in my hands at the moment. 
So what if I just plot this down right here as long as it is still nighttime? Okay, cool. We have quite a few things to actually test this out with. The first thing, of course, is some oxide. So let's go ahead and actually put that into the furnace right up here. And I guess, yeah, look at that. It's starting to smelt it up right away. We have a whole bunch of pressure here, and if I release this valve, then theoretically we should see these two tanks filling up, the oxygen and the nitrogen. And all of the other tanks should still be empty, but before we do that, we are of course gonna set up our tablet. I'm gonna need the Atmos Analyzer, and we want to switch that out. Cool. So nothing seems to be in our tanks. Let's uh, go ahead and open up the valve and I'm falling off the building. There we go. Okay, now we can actually see stuff is happening. We have a whole bunch of oxygen here and nitrogen. And if I look at this, uh, nothing is happening because we haven't enabled the filtration yet. So theoretically, uh, let me see, we can still see that there is stuff in these pipes, but as soon as we turn off the filtration, it's uh, gonna be pumped into the tanks. Hey, look at that. The tank here is still filling up, so I guess, well, the pipes at the moment seem to be empty. Yeah, look at that. We have the nitrogen right here and the O2 right here. The pressure is still going up at the moment. Wow, this is actually amazing. I love this. Uh, let's also test it out with the volatiles. This is still filling up here. I wonder how much pressure we can have before we are gonna explode this tank. Okay, it's stopped now. That is good. I do actually have... A safe game in case we're doing incredibly stupid things such as the sun is actually rising at the moment. That is really bad. Oh man. Drop the tablet. We need our mining belt right away. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that to me. I need to get that into my inventory. There we go. We're gonna grab the water and we're gonna put that into the furnace. It's melting. Okay, there we go. Ice is probably gonna have different things. Um, let me actually see. Tablet, uh, show me what we got here. Nitrogen and H2O. So let's just enable all of our filters for the time being. And we should also see some H2O in our water tank. Yeah, look at that. It's just working perfectly. I'm so happy with the system right now. The only thing I need to figure out is how much more I can fill this up before it is going to explode. So I think I'm going to make another safe game. And we're going to test this out. And we're going to be a little bit wasteful. Uh, come on, drop that into there. Okay, going to put a lot more oxide into the furnace. As quickly as possible, so not a lot is actually smelting. And I'm actually also gonna input the volatiles, why the heck not? Volatile, there you go. Okay, this is my last stack, and I input it before one single piece was able to smelt. Beautiful. Now we take out our tablet once again, and we can see, well, everything is already sorted out, it seems. Gone through the filtration, so we have nothing in here, because that is, what type of a filter? Pollutant, yeah. Then we got some volatiles, uh, H2, uh-oh, is that what I want? H2 is volatiles, okay. We got nothing in the CO2 tank, we got a little bit more in the nitrogen department, and the oxygen is of course still filling up. Okay, good to know. Yeah, it seems as though the gases are being pulled out of the pipes rather quickly, and then they're being stored like in these filtration systems and slowly being put into the tank, is my assumption. So maybe what we should have in between the tanks and the filtration systems is a pressure regulator. I don't know, maybe you guys have a better tip for that. But I'm pretty happy that we are able to store all of these gases uh, without any issues, it seems. The pressure of my portable tank here is at 8.75 megapascals. That seems an awful lot, if you ask me. <laughs> So my intention with this system basically is to be able to pressurize the base eventually. So this way we are gonna collect all of the gases essentially. And then I can take away these two portable tanks and what I can do is set up a separate system that is gonna take a perfect amount of oxygen versus nitrogen in order to make breathable air. And of course we have to pump in enough into our room so that the pressure is around 100 kilopascals. How about that, guys? I actually like it. So I think with that out of the way, we're going to wrap it up. This is a good point. The next time we're gonna definitely finish the base so it is a sealed off room and we're gonna try to pressurize it. So you can look forward to that. But with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great time and hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.